This was a scientific study where researchers were trying to find a treatment for alcoholism by giving patients so much horse tranquilizers that they forget that they're alcoholics. True! What do you guys think? True! It is true. People did this. Yeah, so um, apparently uh, people would give, they made the claim that ketamine with street names Special K, Super C, and Cat Valium, apparently, can affect your memory and cause you to forget that you have a problem with drinking. But they made this claim, and the way they actually ran the study is they would take an alcoholic and give him a beer, and then they would surprise him, and then either give him a placebo, or give him a whole shitload of ketamine. <laughs> and people who took ketamine were less likely to drink after the surprise. <laughs> That's how they proved their hypothesis. No fucking idea how they got IOB approval to do this. <laughs> the reason they're cool is because when they're caterpillars, they collect and saw little sticks to make these elaborate log cabin structures. Yeah. And not only does it look super cool, but it also does a great job of protecting them from predators because they live in trees and their predators are birds and not beavers. <laughs> uh, a scientist has called them the little Abraham Lincolns of all caterpillars. And that scientist was me. <laughs> One of the main ingredients that causes the ozone to be destroyed is called these polar stratospheric clouds, which is where a lot of chemical reactions happen that produce free radicals, I'm sure you've heard about, that des destroy ozone particles. Um, unfortunately, we are not actually getting better with pollution, it's just that global warming makes it hotter, which makes it harder for them to form. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of like how if you're being just totally attacked by some vicious virus, you can always kill it by throwing yourself into a volcano. <laughs> One of the really cool things about them is they're not made out of that like super shitty 3D printing plastic I'm sure you've seen. Yes. <laughs> but it actually uses a process called in situ resource utilization, which means that it is processed out of the Martian soil itself. So people can not only fulfill their childhood dreams of living on Mars, but you can do it while also fulfilling a childhood dream of living in a gigantic sandcastle. <laughs> this made me a little curious about, you know, what does a hacker look like? And I ended up going to the most reputable source I could think of for this, Google Images. <laughs> And according to Google Images, a hacker is someone who thinks that to protect your identity when committing crimes on the internet, you just need to wear a ski mask at your computer. <laughs> Another trope that I saw in a lot of these Google Images is uh, that if you are trying to hack a computer and you just can't get through that last firewall, you just need to, you know, threaten violence against the computer. <laughs> that will always work. Unless, of course, the person you're trying to hack actually paid for that non-free version of Norton antivirus, which comes with some pretty sweet perks. <laughs> Dolphins are using pufferfish toxins to get high. <laughs> and according to this picture from the article, this practice is very offensive to the pufferfish. <laughs> uh, pufferfish secrete a toxin called tetrodotoxin, which is super lethal to humans. But to dolphins, when ingested in smaller amounts, it apparently has a really fun narcotic effect. This reef for madness <laughs> is a bonding activity. Um, the dolphins, when they come across these pufferfish, will pass them back and forth like any bunch of stoners passing joints around in a smoking zone. <laughs> but since this is Valentine's Month, I thought we could talk about an article related to baby making. Specifically, not baby making. And the science to talk about is related to infertility is in the field of nanotech. A group in Germany has created microscopic motors that can be attached to individual sperm cells. Uh, in this video, I really hope my Wi-Fi works. Um, and they actually had associate with the article. Um, here it is. Just drives it right into the egg and then swims off letting the zygote start forming a baby. And then here he goes, swimming, grabbing another one, taking it for a really spin-tastic ride. Uh, 
and so that was all from the sperm's perspective, but there's also a video from the egg's perspective of what it's like to be impregnated by a nanotech motor propelled sperm cell. <laughs> I don't see a lot of stuff that works in nanotech, so it's kind of awesome that it worked at all. And you know, it makes me feel just really warm and fuzzy and positive about the future for all these young couples struggling to start a family. But on the other hand, it makes me so angry. Cause you know, like, back when I was a sperm, we didn't have no fancy nanotech motors to help us out. We had to swim ourselves with our own one tail. And you know, it was, it was like D-Day out there. I lost a hundred million friends in those fallopian tubes. And now these damn Gen Zs, they're lazy as hell before they're even born. And if you zoom in on that guy in the corner over there, you know, getting a free ride, you can actually see. That deadbeat's already fucking vaping and scrolling on TikTok. 